In this video, we're going to explain the solution for the second example problem. A police car is stopped at a traffic signal. A red sports car passes him while accelerating at a constant half meter per second squared and traveling 8 meters per second when he was 11 meters away. The policeman takes a moment to think about what is happening and begins to accelerate at 3.5 meters per second squared. So that quote unquote moment was when the sports car got the 11 meter jump on him. How much distance will it take to catch the red sports car? So here's part of the example we showed. Now remember, when we solved this in the earlier example, the two objects started side by side and they ended side by side. And we used this basic premise that their displacements and their times are the same in order to solve it. But we still need to stick to this premise of distance and time being the same. But for this problem, you can see that the distance and time isn't the same. The red sports car has an 11 meter jump. So I need to make the distance that both cars travel between the beginning and when they're side by side the same. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make x0 equal to 0 for the police car, that's where we're going to start measuring, and I'm going to make x0 equal to 11 for the sports car to account for that extra distance. So by adding 11 to my calculation, that's going to make sure that the two distances they travel will be the same, which meets our requirement. The second thing to note here is I have two lists of givens. Our rule is, whenever we have an acceleration, we have a list of givens. So I have two objects, that means I have two accelerations, therefore I have two lists of givens that I have to work with. All right, so I'm all set up. I'll use my long equation, x equals x0 plus v0 t plus 1 fat squared. I'll plug in my numbers, and I'm making sure I've got 0 for my initial velocity on one object and 11 for the other. And that'll give me the equation, x is equal to 1.75 t squared, and x equals 11 plus 8 t plus 0.25 t squared. My next step is to calculate the time in order to find the distance. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my basic premise, that the two distances they travel is the same. So the distance of the sports car, that is x subscript sports car, equals x subscript police car. That makes sure that the reader knows what you're doing, that you're setting these two distances the same. That means my two equations are equal to each other. So the, the expression becomes 1.75t squared equals 11 plus 8t plus 0.250t squared. Now I solve this by putting all my t's on one side, or everything on one side of the equation, and I use the quadratic formula. You can probably use other methods, completing the square, anything you want to to finish solving this. And I get two times. I get a negative 1.3 seconds, and I get a positive 6.46 seconds. So the positive answer is the one I'm after in this case. But I still haven't gotten to the question. I have to calculate the distance. So I have a choice. I have two equations I can use. I've described the distance for the police car and for the sports car, and I can use either one. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to choose the short one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the time in for t, but I could have done it with the long one. I just chose the shorter one to be easy. And when I do that, I get 73.1 meters. That means the police car will catch up in 73.1 meters. Because remember, I made x0 equal to 0 at the front of the police car. So that's the distance the police car is going to travel to catch up to the red sports car.